Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you set up YouTube on your Roku TV. So we can see that we're currently on the home menu of our Roku TV with the menu over on the left-hand side. What we wanna do is take out our Roku remote and in the menu over on the left-hand side, we wanna go down to the area where it says search. And then in the search area, we're gonna start typing in YouTube. And once we have YouTube typed in, we'll see over here in the channels area that the YouTube app is right here. So we're gonna click okay on that. Now you might already have YouTube downloaded onto your Roku TV. If that's the case, you won't need to click okay on add channel. It'll just take you right directly to the YouTube channel itself. But since I don't have it on my Roku TV, I'm gonna click okay on where it says add channel. And then it's gonna download and install the YouTube application onto my Roku TV. And now it says that the channel is added. YouTube has been added to the end of the home screen. If we'd like to move where it's located, we can highlight it by pressing the star asterisk on our Roku remote. So I'm gonna click okay, and I'm gonna click the home button on my remote, heading back over to the home screen. And it says that it was put at the end of the line here. So if we go down to the bottom, we can see that's where the YouTube app is located. So clicking that star asterisk button on my Roku remote, and let's say I wanted to move this channel. I can click okay on where it says move channel and then I can put it exactly where I want it to be. Let's say I want it up more towards the top right in this area, then clicking okay on my Roku remote and it gets dropped right in that spot. So now at this point, clicking okay on the YouTube application. And I highly recommend signing in to your Google account or whatever account that you use for YouTube for your subscriptions so that you can get a better catered experience in the YouTube app. So I'm gonna click OK where it says sign in on your TV using your Google account. So I'm gonna click OK on that. Then I need to enter in the email of the account that I'd like to use and then click OK on next. Then entering in the password for my Google YouTube account and then clicking OK on next. Now for my YouTube account, it's asking for a two-step verification. And for me, that's it's sending a text message to my phone where I click yes, that this is me to confirm that I'm logging in. You might not have two-step verification set up on your YouTube account, or perhaps it's set up in a different way. But after going through that, then we'll be able to move on to the next step. So once I'd logged in and selected the YouTube account that I want to set up on this TV, it takes us to the homepage of the YouTube app with us signed in and our curated homepage, it takes into account our viewing history as well as our subscriptions to give us some ideas of some things that we might want to watch on YouTube. And of course you have the menu over there on the left hand side of the screen if you'd like to go through those different options to find the content that you're looking for. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how you set up YouTube on your Roku TV. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.